Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to create a leveling system and I'm starting where we left in the previous video um, so we just have a stats component, some stats and uh, we were using the SDV minimal uh, structure for our default values table so first I'm going to create a new folder called leveling system and in here we'll need uh, three stats we need two complex stats, level and experience max and one progress stat, experience so I'm going to create a complex stat called level and create another one called experience max and I'm going to quickly fill the info. So the ID will be experience max, uh, the display name maximum experience. And for the value sets manager, um, we don't really need a multiplier for our experience max or level stats. Uh, we could still use the VSM default and choose just not to use the multiplier, but we could also create a new value sets manager. So I'm going to create a new blueprint class from the value sets manager class and call this one VSM for value sets manager underscore no multiplier. And I'm just going to add the VS regular. Uh, value set. So I, now I can use my VSM no multiplier for my uh, experience max and do the same thing for the level and fill the ID and the display name. So now we have experience max and level and now we can create a new progress start experience. So the ID will be experience, the display name experience as well. Uh, it won't have any region. Um, the minimum will be a flat value of zero and the maximum a value link to experience max. So now we can add our stats to our default values table. So I will go back to our default values. And just to make it simpler, I'm gonna create a new row called leveling system. And I will add experience max starting at 10 and as a progress stats experience uh, starting at zero. Don't add the level directly in here uh, because we're going to go back to our stats component. We will add the level directly in the load default values function in our stats component. So I'm going to select our level stat. It will start at one. And for the uh, default values name, so the row we're going to load, I will choose leveling system. We are using the debug stats component widget inside our character and also I'm going to add a way to increase our experience. So I'm going to use stats modify value on experience and increase it by 5. So now we can hit play. We can see we have our free stats. Uh, right now it doesn't do anything. If I press C I can increase the experience but it doesn't increase the level right now. So we'll need to add some logic and we can do this directly inside our expand stat. Uh, we'll use begin play. So on begin play, on reached maximum. So whenever we reach the maximum value, which is experience max. So I'm going to call this event on reached experience max. We will get the owner stats component and just increment the level. Okay, so now when we reach the experience max, we will increase the level by one, but we'll also need to reset our experience. And for that, we'll use set value. So targeting self, the experience, and use the delta value. Okay. Also, in my character, I'm going to put six for my uh, modify value. Uh, with my debug key C. And now if I press C, uh, so now if I press C again, it should go to 12, so reset to 2, and increase the level by 1. Okay, but maybe we also want to increase our maximum experience depending on the level to have some kind of progression. And to do this, we could just use a value influence. So we'll go back to our default values table and add a value influence. I will call it um, experience max underscore from level. The influenced stats will be experience max 
and the operation, uh, I will do something like level multiplied by 10 plus, plus 5. Uh, I will remove the default value for our experience max. And now if we play, I can press C uh, to increase my experience. And now we can see our maximum experience increases as we level up. So it's 10 times the level plus 5. So similarly, you could use uh, value influences uh, to create some kind of progressions for your stats. So if we add it, for example, constitution uh, with a value of 10, if we wanted to increase it uh, depending on the level, we could just add a value influence. So constitution underscore from level, the influence stat will be constitution and the operation, you can put whatever you want using the level. I will just use level, so it can, it's going to be its default value 10 plus the level. And now our constitution is at 11, so uh, 10 plus 1 from the level, from level 1. And if I increase my experience and level up, we can see it's going to increase as well. Uh, its value it gets from the level. So that's it for this video. Um, this is a very basic leveling system. And uh, in the next video, we'll see how to use the SDV advanced structure for our default values and how to create uh, a value progression based on the level using curves. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.